Welcome to RPV City Talk. RPV City Talk is brought to you by the City of Rancho Palos Verdes to inform the community on recent city matters. RPV City Talk is a weekly show that features the RPV Mayor, City Council, or City Employees. Welcome to City Talk. I'm Maria Soreo, joined today by our Mayor, Anthony Mizicic, for your first monthly show. Mayor, welcome. Thank you very much, Maria. Good afternoon, and it's a pleasure to be here. You know, before we get started in the issues we want to talk about, I want to say that well of a day, we saw you at well of a day, and what a great success that was this year. Something like the, the high, highest amount of people they've ever seen there. The attendance you, is great. You know, it was such a beautiful day. Wasn't How it? How could people not come out to a location by the ocean? Exactly. I, I mean, it was just picturesque. It was. It was beautiful. I mean, you could see Catalina Island clearly, Santa Monica, the whole bay. The ocean was nice and calm, and the weather was, you know, a nice balmy 72 yes. degrees. and. Just beautiful. It was perfect. And it's amazing to me how many people come back after year after year after year. Um, there was a woman there that we had talked to who has moved away from the South Bay, and she comes back every single year to Well the Day to Well Watch and so with me. It was just amazing. It's just so much fun that day. Well, you know, the great thing about that is that word gets out, and then more mm -hmm. and more people from outside of our city they come, come, in. come to Well of the Day and get to enjoy the beautiful festivities at that, at that event. That was a lot of fun. But we're going to yeah. put you a little bit to work here now. Because because I know okay. a lot's been going on in the community, um, especially with our new council voted in, um, Susan Brooks, Jerry Dehovic, and Jim Knight. Mm -hmm. And we kind of want to talk about um, about each person and what they bring to the table because they, they all each have things that are, are very different. Um, starting with Jim Knight, who was on the Planning Commission, let's just talk about um, what he's been involved with and accomplished thus far. Well, the great thing about Jim is that if there's land issues, Jim knows it. He's been a planning commissioner for eight years Long now. Time. Yep. Mm -hmm. He also is very up to speed on environmental issues. Mm -hmm. So he's somebody that we can look to in the council that has the experience and background for land use issues and for environmental issues. Okay. And, you know, I think his opinions weigh a lot with the council in those two areas. You know what I love about Jim? He's a great listener. Mm. He's a great Important. listener, and he's very, very thoughtful when he thinks through an issue. Mm, okay. And he articulates that well, you know, when he's talking. And so uh, I think he is uh, really a great addition to our council. For sure. And I really am looking forward to working with him. Yes, very true. Now, Susan Brooks was here before. She was on mm -hmm. the council before, so she definitely brings experience to the table. What else can you say about Susan? Well, what I love about Susan is that, you know, she's been in this position before. Yes. She was a council member and mayor right. of the city mm -hmm. for four, uh, during a, her four-year term. Mm -hmm. She has great ideas on government mechanics. That's what I like mm, about Susan. She, she, the, the workings of, of the government and um, that experience that she brings is really important, I feel, to the council because she can go ahead and articulate those uh, ideas to us. She also has a great network with mm -hmm. other officials right. outside the city. And so what Susan likes to do is to, like to share what we're doing versus what other cities are doing. Correct. And it's a benchmarking. And so she brings those kind of ideas back uh, to the council. And we're working on a committee, she and I, uh, the ad hoc committee on... Um, uh, council uh, procedures and, and protocols and that kind of thing. And so I'm looking forward to, uh, we've had one meeting, but looking forward to, to continue working with her as we go ahead and improve our uh, rules of procedure and procedure, um, uh, protocols. Right. And then Jerry Dehovic, he's new to office. Mm -hmm. Talk about Jerry. What I like about Jerry is that he brings a strong financial background to mm, our city. That's, that's helpful. <laughs> oh, I, you know, it just, you know, I've been in business for 27 years, I'm, but I'm not an expert in finance. Um, but Jerry is, and mm -hmm. he has also got a background in overseeing IT um, issues within his company. So he can bring those real world experiences onto the council mm. and help us with issues that you know, we have the budget, upcoming budget issues. I look forward to Jerry's input on, on a lot of our budget issues and uh, how we're, we're spending our monies and looking at maybe some better ways of, 
how we do things fr right. from a financial perspective. Okay. And then, you know, uh, we're also talking about some IT issues. And so I'm looking forward to having uh, Jerry's input on that as well. So Now, Brian Campbell has been on the council with you. Did you know everybody, Brian, all of the new council members before they came on? Well, I knew uh, Brian, you know, Brian and I uh, campaigned, uh, you know, in the 2009 mm -hmm. um, uh, election, right. so we got to know each other there. I knew um, Susan, I've known Susan for 20 years. Okay. In fact, I've uh, worked on her congressional campaign. Oh. You know. <laughs> uh, and I've known Jim from the, the 2009 campaign. Okay. So uh, the only one who I've really gotten to know in the last few years is Jerry. Okay. When when I uh, I was one of the people that voted to put him on the financial advisory committee. That's great. And uh, I know he came from he comes from a good family. I knew very his good. father very well. His mm -hmm. father was a very good friend of mine. Um, and uh, if he's anything like his father, he's a, you know he's a great guy. So and we met all of his daughters, and he brought all of their friends yeah. to Well of a Day, and we had a, a great time with them as yeah. well. Now I know you're all involved in so many committees, and when you look over the length of them, <laughs> it, it amazes me because there's five of you, and yet you're sort of all over the place. How do you decide who goes to what committee? Well, I. Uh, put out the list of committees okay. through the city clerk all right. to all the council members. And basically, I ask them where their interests lie, where do you have time to serve on a committee, um, and where's your, where, what are your interests, and um, as far as the reporting re requirements, do you have the ability to serve on this particular committee or mm -hmm. not? Right. And all that criteria is put together, and then the council members then send back to me their requests okay. for to serve on certain committees. Now, not everyone got to serve on every committee that they wanted to. Uh, you know, I tried to spread it out to be fair. Okay. It, you know, but based on uh, the prior criteria, right. those three areas, that's how we came up with the, uh, the subcommittees and um, who was going to serve where. How do you allocate time for all of that? And for all of you, I mean, that must be the trickiest, one of the trickiest parts of your job. That's the unseen um, area of our job. Yeah. You know, people see us at the council meetings. Right. They figure you're just do Tuesday nights and you're done. Every other Tuesday night. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then they see us in the community. Yeah. But they don't see what is really... Um, takes up a considerable amount of time is the the committees and lia liaison committees ad hoc committees that we serve on right and, and or the city committees that we serve on that um, takes up a lot more time right between the reading the committee time the council time it's easy for a council member to put in at least 40 hours a month easily yeah yeah. yeah. Plus your regular job and your family and plus your regular job <laughs> yeah. and family it's yeah. it's um, you know, it, it becomes a challenge at times, sure. but uh, you know, all of us realized when we ran for office that that was the commitment that we were going to make. Right. That uh, we're giving up a portion of our our lives to right. to serving the citizens of this great city, and uh, it's. It's a commitment that we take very, very seriously. That's right. Well, much more to talk about. We're going to take a break, and when we come back, more with our mayor. You're watching City Talk on RPV TV.